We have the party who just arrived on the scene. Mm, pardon. Party just arrived on the scene, and after avoiding uh, some treacherous traps along the way, entered more of a, uh, a traditional cavern area. There are webs, but they are patchwork. A lot of them, a lot of the webbing is in the ceiling and not the floor. The floor is mostly bare rock and there is water. Uh, there are some ponds and like a little stream that is flowing through this place. Um, there are pillars as well that, uh, as you see in the picture, uh, go floor to ceiling. And um, this is some sort of a big central area. Uh, uh, Norali is in the heat of the moment as we haven't taken time to assess things uh, is apparently grabbed by this thing and is being drug off to a deeper darker portion of the cavern um, with uh, small and medium uh, small and medium spider things on both sides of this gargantuan spider uh, and I mean, there, the guy that was grabbed, I, I have one hand on him. There, this is just a little representation. There's more in this area mm -hmm. that you can obviously see, and there's probably others that might be hidden in uh, dark nooks and crannies uh, or under or within the webbing in the ceiling. Um, but you can see that there's almost like a procession uh, going on here. Um, so I guess we'll we'll start where the action is with the three of you that have flown in at all due haste, getting bound up in the filaments of cave fissures along the way. Um, I'll put it on Bright, Celine, and Mordecai to, to do something here. I'm gonna say that from where you're at, uh, you have about, uh, I'd say 150 feet between you. So not a terrible amount, you could still zoom over because they've only just started to walk in that direction. I'm going to call out to Norlai. Okay. Just call out her name. Okay, that's just a verbal component. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just, I, I would just whip around and say, Oh, there, there you are. Are you guys alright? Yeah, are you? Apparently, yes. I think I'm okay. Uh, these things turn in the part in the rest of the party's direction and hiss and chitter as they are uh, they're gathered now behind these two, uh, kind of defensively. Um. Um. Hey, hey. Um. Uh, th those are my friends. I, I still don't know if you know Common. Um, but uh, don't don't hurt them. Still moving forward as we go. Uh. Okay. Are you, so, are you this frog to... is actually this giant spider, right? Yeah, the, the frog is a giant spider you see in the back. Okay. I just so, didn't have a quickly accessible giant spider to throw yeah, in the no. back. Just so, I, just so I'm making sure that I know what's going on. So, that's that's a big spider. Um, yes, it is big. Is it... Is it friendly? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it, it took the gems off of me, but... um. I don't understand it, and I don't know if it understands me. <laughs> yeah. This whole time, Lorelai just still has her hand on the on the spider's hand. Mm -hmm. How how far away are we from from the Norlai and the spider? About one hundred twenty feet. Now you you scoot it up. You can easily fly over the ones on the ground. There might be ones. Uh, there might be ones up in the top here. Uh, the cave is only about 30 feet high. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, that's um, still plenty of room to hover in the middle and not... Um... Yeah. yeah, hovering in the middle. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, though, I mean, watch out for ambushes because they might drop on you or more of those filaments might be lowered down. That's another way we can tell we're in Australia because of the drop bears. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the way that I kind of imagine these little these little things is like a, like a half-life barnacle. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, where's, where's lethality? This is all set up for him. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So. Um. I hate to, I hate to, I hate to do this. Because mm -hmm. it seems so wasteful. But it also seems really necessary. So, I'm going to... Oops. Here we are. I'm going to poof up a piggy sue. Okay. <laughs> Big chunky bird. What piggy form is she taking? This is her farm. This is her farm until it gets changed. Okay. Chunky bird. Chunky yeah, bird. Chunky bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, piggy sue, I'm going to need you to um, to fly over to, to Norali and just sit comfortably on top of her head. Kind of between her horns. Yeah, right between her horns. Okay, it's between her horns. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cast a wish. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, my my beautiful level one familiar summon. Wish <laughs> after. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you got it. Flaunt it. <laughs> now, I'm going to wish for tongues for Norlai. The spell. Oh, very clever. Oh. I right. normally would have that, but I don't have it prepared today. Well, I figured that out. <laughs> I guess I should have asked to be sure, because that sure would have been embarrassing. Um, it does require I, touch to to give the uh, give it to the creature anyway. So yeah, and the fact that you have a familiar that can touch for you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, Norlai, uh, you can speak in tongues. Okay. Um. Uh. Hey. Hey. Um. Uh. Uh. Spider E person. Uh. D don't hear my friends. I, I didn't really get what he said. Uh, no hurt, only take. Um, don't don't take them either. Take. They're they're friends. Uh, it continues walking, boop, boop. going off the map. Okay. Oh, uh, what are the other ones doing? Come see. Uh, they're, uh, well, the ones on the ground can't do too much to really affect the flying party, so they can spit and hiss. They they seem kind of riled up, though, that they, they okay. don't want the others here. Um, uh, they don't want you here, um, uh, you guys can go invisible or something? Um, I'm gonna go with this this one. Um, I'll I'll fly back if anything happens. I know where you are, so I can send you a message. I, I can't I can't believe we came all this way, and and enjoyed some alcohol. <laughs> just just for just for Norlai to send us away. Mordecai, Celine, do you think that's that's wise? Does it seem like the spider put the whammy on her? I mean, I oh, can't no. understand what the spider's saying. Yeah, she it it garbled something and is seemingly willingly going with Norlai. Maybe if, it, I... if she's under a spell, it requires touch because like they're touching hands. So I'm gonna insight yeah. check. Yeah, I was gonna say I want to do insight on Norlai too. 
Can I assist Mordecai? I, I have proficiency. Yeah, yeah. So do you, I. you two can both give her the stink eye. Okay, well, I'm assisting Mordecai then. He can roll with advantage. Come on! Uh, what are even my rolls? It's a... It's an animal? She's I was inside of Norlai. Uh, yeah, I know. She's going off to be with an animal that's not... It's not unlike Norlai. Now, the scale is different, as she's never uh, she's never uh, gone tried off to... with a gargantuan spider before. She's um, never tried to pet a gargantuan anything. Um, but yeah, she, uh, oh, uh, make a perception as well while you're, uh, you could do it at advantage as well because you're, you have oh. some eyes on her. I have eyeballs. Or just, or just Mordecai. Oh, yuck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she's, uh, oh, uh, you would see that, uh, this thing, uh, even with that perception, you could see that there's a couple little like red glowing balls that are being held in its mouth parts. Um, but the mouth parts aren't making contact with Norlai right now. Only one of its big, big spider legs is sort of like turned up and is guiding her or walking off with her. Same hey, kind guys. of things that I thought saw that the things we're going to try and put on Celine. Uh, I, I shouldn't be going too long. Where, where are you going? I, you I don't going? know. Uh, uh, it wants to show me something. Then convince it to let us come with you. Um. Hey. Uh. Could could my friends come? No. It said no. Why not? <laughs> um, um, why is that? Why, why can't they come? Only you've been requested. Only I can request it? Only you've been requested. Uh, oh, I, I've only, only I've been requested. You're um, a pet. Oh, um, he says, uh, it says because I'm different. Um, that's exactly what the bugs the creatures said about you back in browbeat. Yeah, this is reminding me a lot of a lot of browbeat. A lot of that cave. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? This this all did feel familiar. Um, <laughs> it, it'll it'll be okay. I can I can teleport. You know, it'll be fine. Are, are you could teleport back then too, and it didn't help. I couldn't really teleport. I could just like poof a, a few, like thirty-ish feet, and there's the 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 big like guard, and I didn't want to run into it. <clears throat> Norlay, it's 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 really up to you, but I wish I knew exactly where you were going. Uh, yeah, um, well, you, you can, uh, I got, I got Peggy Sue, so you'll, you'll be able to see what's going on, right? Well, if they let Peggy Sue go, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? And that also only works for 100 feet. <laughs> okay, uh, well, try to, try to, I, I don't know how far we're going. Mordecai, what do you think? You're off the map. I don't want to leave her by herself. Yeah, I don't either. She seemed okay to go, but Norlai sometimes makes strange decisions. <laughs> Especially when regards to animals. Y you guys could just message me or, or sending. Yes, yeah, sending. <laughs> Use your sendings. Make my spell slots go away. <laughs> uh, I, I can message you if you're within 300 feet. Sorry, two, 240. 240 feet. Well. I think we should insist. 
<clears throat> you know what, Mordecai? Um, I think if we retreat just a small distance so that I can use some different magic, instead of having to keep us hovering in the air, we'll, we'll be able to, to tell if she's okay. Because I can, I can watch her from a distance, and we can see. And then, if if it's bad, then we can just go in after her. Oh, that's right. You have that. Oh today, no! Don't you? Oh no! No, Did I you not don't. Bring it? I only have clairvoyance. I don't have arcane eye, and that's ten minutes. Never mind. Never mind. I think it's kind of lame that clairvoyance is ten minutes. By the way. Duly noted. <laughs> It should be it should be one minute at the most. That's just not fair. Well, nothing stopping um, you from flying over the hissing spider people. Yeah, except for the giant spider won't like it. That's absolutely and, correct. But and I don't I don't want that. We can and slowly I, start inching forward. And I already used my wish. I wish we weren't here. <laughs> can we can I see like where where he's taking her? Like what what the what's happening? Like where it's going? Uh it is uh it is going through a bottleneck section. Uh so you can see for the immediacy, but it is gonna be turning and uh, going out of sight, so you would have to okay. follow behind if you want to even keep a distance to eye on her. Okay. I guess I'll recall you Peggy Sue, because they're going to go out of 100 feet. You can scry, can't you? Yeah, that also takes 10 minutes. Oh, that does, yeah. <sighs> as soon as it goes around the corner, I want us, I want us to start moving forward. I know what I can do. It's another big spell, and I hate to use it, but we don't. So, Mordecai, I can, I can, I can use etherealness, and that lasts up to eight hours. But the trouble is, if I use it, isn't that how Cipher got whisked away? No, Cipher just ran off. He was dumb. <laughs> It, it wasn't a spell going wrong. This is safer than that. We 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 don't go out of control. Um. And if you can, if you can track. Well, I can track her with another locate creature. Yeah, that uh, technically only that technically won't work while we're in etherealness. So we either have to do it now, or we have to do it. Or we have to do it not at all. Because before, once the spider gets away out of sight, we won't be able to, to go anymore. What what I'll do is this, because we are in a tense moment. I, I happen to have a grid with an illustration from the top down looking at the situation. Oh, uh, just, that's it convenient. Was, I had it randomly just hanging out. I figured, why not, you know... Why not just let you see what's going sure. on? Just, just in case. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just uh, absolute last, you know. Uh, just in case a fight were to break out. Just hypothetically. Hypothetically, yeah. Thank you for working in the hypothetical with me. Uh, oh, yes. Pardon me. All right. Although they're a little bit further away because they were getting ready to turn the corner. And she was a bit of a distance away from you all. Yeah. 
And I'm just going to recall Piggy Sue once they get more than about 100 feet away, because there's no use anyway. I think they're probably about yeah. that far right now. Yeah, 100 feet from you all is about right here. Yeah. Yeah, so I recall Piggy Sue. That's okay. fine. Wait. And just poof away. Oh, like off the mat? Okay. Yeah, she'll just she'll be in her hiding space. It's safer for her there. Uh, there are gribblers here, though I I don't have tokens out just yet. But again, it's about a thirty foot high cavern. Uh, now that's that's at the places where there aren't spiky bits that you might be able to run into. So, like thirty feet if you wanted to like weave around all the stalactites. Um, otherwise, uh, maybe twenty feet uh, from a mostly safe from the, the tips of the stalactites. <clears throat> you can see where the water's running. You can see that there are uh, that there are columns. The whole place has patches of uh, eerie light, which is all the more reminding you of when you were traipsing through the Fey Cave and Browbeat, uh, especially in that sort of, that chamber with all the different uh, people in like encapsulated, and that were sort of giving off light. Um, but this is, like, it's similar, but this is just really, something's different. Something's definitely not right here. It's bizarre. Yeah. yeah. It, it's like a perversion of even what you saw with the Fae. Yeah, weird. Yeah. I don't want her out of our sight. I really don't. I'll just, I'm willing to just go past these guys. I'm torn. I'm really torn. I feel like... My dog is having a twitch. I feel like we should... I mean, I want to save her, but I, I also don't want to provoke a fight when we don't have to. Right. I get it. I mean, we didn't we didn't make peace with the last group of Fae, even though I tried. And I... Look, we I, all I, tried. Right, I know. And I don't want that to happen again. Yeah. I don't I don't want this to happen again. And if we do intervene, it'll probably provoke the fight. And we won't have a choice and we'll just have to fight our way out. Yeah. She promised she would Contact us if something went wrong. I'm content to wait, I think, on balance. And I'll start scrying. And if whatever happens takes less than ten minutes, then... Then that'll be a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which does mean that you would have to cancel fly. That's okay, we've, we've done our flying. Actually, Maddie, the floor of the cavern here, is it sticky or is it... There are, uh, there are patches of stickiness that I don't think I put down. But for the, the vast majority, it is maybe damp rock uh, with a water that is running in between the, the blue lines. Okay. So, watch your step. Don't slip. I know you've had a lot of trouble with that today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and land and uh, turn off the scry, or turn off the fly and start the scry. That rhymed. All right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Norali, you go off. Uh, you go off with the giant spider. You are rounding the corner. Peggy Sue leaves your shoulder, uh, leaving you just with uh, just with this creature. Uh, is there anything you oh. wish to say or do? Um, uh, am I seeing anything when we turn the corner? 
Uh, yes, there's a lot more water, and uh, the tunnel the tunnel veers to the right. Yeah. What are the little purple doodads? Uh, these are little sticky patches of ah. webbing. Okay. I hope she's okay. Uh, no, I'm... I, I'm... I'm just going along. Okay. Uh, there's more that will be evident if you continue forward, but for things that might be immediately relevant to you, that's what you see. Uh, mm -hmm. we go back over, and... Uh, Norlai, you are led up to the water here. And you can see that at the end there is a pond and there is um, this pretty much the almost the whole area around the pond has webbing. Hmm. So everything going back this way. Alright. Full, full pink. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep going. Um I, I'll probably ask the spider. Uh so so who who wants to see me? What wants to see me? Master of three. Hmm. Ma master of three. Um, okay. Of three what? There's a big knot of webbing right here in the crook of this, uh, of this pillar. what's repeated to you. Uh, okay. Three. Like, the number three, three different things, three of the same thing. Three as one. So three things stuck together. As you cross the threshold into the heavily webbed area, is there anything that you want to say or do? Uh, I'm just going to avoid touching any webs. All right. Uh, it will be tough because it's it's like floor to ceiling. Like you can okay. pass through it, but there's almost nowhere you can go where there's not going to be thin webbing or thick webbing. It, it, it is everywhere. Here. Okay. Well, as long as I'm not getting stuck anywhere. The spider yeah. lets go of your hand. Definitely not getting stuck anywhere. <laughs> uh, okay. I I will I will just float here politely. Okay. Politely floating. I'll go for to Mordecai. I hope she's having a good time in New Orleans. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right. <laughs> what if that's actually what's happening? We'll find out soon enough. Norlite, the the gargantuan spider, uh, parts this big cocoon uh, rather easily, as spiders do, um, and uh, it sort of gives a throwback to just you know because you, you you had seen other people had been cocooned and just uh, other behavior, but. This one is crawling out of sight into a giant one. And I would like you to make a perception check as it does. I have not had any good work. 
Mwahaha. Okay. God damn it. Um. I'm just like br brushing web out of my hair. I don't even look up. Yep. You don't. <laughs> you don't even look up. It's everywhere. Jeez. It's all up in my horns. The. There are some noises from within the web that sound kind of juicy and a little crunchy at the same time. There's no screams or anything that is agonizing, but there's something there's something biological going on. Uh and and not even the like giggity kind. Um mm -hmm. the cocoon the cocoon pulses with light, a faint light, uh, a glow like an an orange and red too, similar to those gems. And for a moment, you tense up, Norali, because it has the, the as the, the web glows from within these these fiery colors. You do see like black spots within that fiery glow, and. That gives you a strong reminder of of Hellfire that you've seen before. Want to cast Mage Armor? Sure. You want to let the chaos flow? Well, I mean, you got to roll anyway if you if you don't want if you don't want to. But um. Yeah, I'm I'm nervous. Twenty-one. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're letting it ride, everyone. Creatures have disadvantage on saving throws against the next spell you cast for the next minute that involves a saving throw. <laughs> that may come in handy. Fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, the black spots inside that gave you the reminiscence of Hellfire. Uh. They bring you relief because, oh, it doesn't move. Because uh, the Hellfire actually had, like, black flame. And it would sort of flicker and dance along with the other flame. The black spots you're seeing almost seem to be crawling on the inside of this cocoon. And... In a moment, the inside goes dark. And parting from this is a creature comprised of parts of the gargantuan spider's body and topped with a bloated, squirming torso of slugs. wearing a white porcelain mask. And Norlai, I don't need to give you a perception to let you recognize that poking up through the mass of writhing maggots is a very familiar looking crown of horns, one of which is chipped. Presumably, your brother emerges as a gargantuan drider. Uh, Loki? Sister. Norlai. The voice echoes and booms, yet seems to almost act withdrawn at the same time like he's inhaling the words and not exhaling them it carries an otherworldly shiver have you come to save me yes I I'm so sorry we couldn't 
Peek you at the volcano. Inches closer to where you're floating, again parting the strands with ease. You cannot be. Okay, we're both we're gonna go, both go home to Mazamaska together. He raises one of his arms. And you just see, even in the in the low light, just the slithering glisten of all of these like tendrils and tentacles and things that comprise his arm. Uh, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Right, a 13. Um, a... His arm just distends in an instant. There's no... He doesn't need to bring it back. He doesn't need to make arching fingers. He just reaches out. And in a, uh, in a split second, uh, the, uh, these tendrils just sh fly out. And uh, and go to grab you. Oh. Pardon me. <coughs> um, and you are surrounded by these uh, <coughs> these slugs, these wet writhing things. I wish for my brother to have his original body back. I am casting wish. Hmm. I wish to have my brother's original body back. I wish for my brother to have his original body back. I'm sorry, I, I wish for my brother to have his original body back. Um, that's, that's quite incorrect. <laughs> You can twist the words, you just have to get the right. <laughs> <laughs> An off-label wish on the very first wish. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. That seems like a thing that Norlai would do. I thought you might be planning to use your wish, that's why I did the tongues rather than waking you did it yourself. I didn't know you were going to do that. You are let go from these things that uh, they they left a slime trail all over you, but they didn't seem to be able to affect you like you knew that the slugs can do. Mm -hmm. You see your brother's form flicker and writhe as the power of your wish is um the power of your wish flows over this creature. Um, oh, I need you to roll uh, wild magic, please. Yep. 72. You gain resistance to all damage for the next minute. Ooh. Well, that might be handy, too. What a waste. <laughs> so can we use this advantage? If we can use that? <laughs> Um, the spider part of his body detaches like it, he crumples and the, the body twitches before you the spider half seems to detach and flicker 
as parts of it revert and also return to some kind of a some kind of a giant person with bright a bright yellow eye a wild eye and it's not even just one there's two there's at least two of these giant people in the spider body just the sight of one of their eyes glancing over you just has you shudder as you feel a, a, a tingle throughout your like through your skin and even your hair your brother slides off of the the body that was left behind and collapses into a pile of writhing worms I'm, I'm gonna go up and grab him I want you to roll... I would like all of... Uh, not yet. Mordecai is starting to get a little impatient. You grab your brother, you reach inside the pile of worms, you feel around. It is gross. Like, these things you know just... The, it, would that they could just be slugs? It might be, it might be icky, but you know what? Slugs are slugs. They do their slug thing. These just carry a will. Uh, uh, a foreign alien intelligence. Uh, and where you grab your brother, you begin to pull... However, these things also grab onto your brother. And he is partially um, uh, he's partially pulled from the pile. Uh, and he is unconscious. And you and this pile of, of black maggots are having a tug of war over your brother's body. Um, I want to loop my arms under under his um, under his arms and kind of have my arms like under like around his chest. I'm gonna clap my hands together and cast Thunder Wave. All right. We'll we'll get to resolutions of things, but back down at the at the south end of the cavern here. You can hear the echoing report of a thunder wave. You've heard her cast that spell many times and and even though it's it's echoey, it thunder wave was cast. Um we are probably at this point you rolled 7 rounds. It's probably been a couple, so I'd say we would be four rounds away from your spell being complete in this moment in time when you hear the thunder wave go off. The creatures below you um, become overtly hostile. Now, they can't seem to immediately be able to reach you, but that is when their postures just go from like defensive like we're trying to make a stand to they they're starting to bunch up and uh and they're uh, starting to climb the walls too to uh, get to the top to the webs to the stalactites to be able to be able to drop in you or to like uh rope swing down on a web to uh sort of tarzan carry you okay we we would have had to to end the fly spell anyway okay yeah so Okay. They they can reach us. <laughs> okay, so then yes, all of them can reach you. You hear the thunder wave. Um, is there anything you would like to say or do before I call for an initiative? And I and I think what and I, after that, I think we're gonna cut the session here because 
there's not enough time tonight for... Even if it isn't a full-out battle, I, I don't think there's going to be enough time to resolve everything that could yeah. happen. Yeah, we've only got ten minutes left, nominally. Although I could stay later if we need to, but... Um, okay. I'm down staying later whenever, if you guys want. Um, well, I guess I would turn... If you guys want lethality to be part of the con... Oh, or not. Yeah, lethality, that's I, true. Yeah, if yeah. he could be here to pilot Celine, I mean, I could hit buttons, but it's not quite the same. And I'd rather make sure yeah. I don't have to truncate a pivotal battle for you all. This is yeah. the, the battle for Loki, so... Yeah. Well, the first thing I would do is, upon seeing the spiders turn hostile and hearing the, the, the boomer wave, I would turn to Mordecai and Celine and say, Okay, I think that's our, that's our cue. At which point, Mordecai would probably be likely to be attempting to cast control water. Oh. All right. It, oh, it worked above ground. It might work below. Oh, yeah. By the way, right? <laughs> Let me tell you about Mordecai's control of the wild water swollen river. Uh, we'll do that afterwards, oh. though. But yes, okay. it was masterful. Uh, <laughs> all right. So you're preparing control water and Celine is, I, am. Uh, I don't know. She's holding yeah. a kunai for 20 episodes, so, like in Naruto, so... That's... I think I probably wouldn't be standing in the water. Maybe we could come down there. Sure, that's fine. That might, be, yeah, yeah. that might be okay. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Mordecai intends to flood the region. <clears throat> with, okay. uh, just part the water and flood the other creatures. It's only 30 not... seconds away from my... From my... Uh, from my scrying. That's so frustrating. <laughs> Make them aim bright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then yes, we will we will break here uh, with Norali having a tug of war over her brother with the pile of worms and whatever the spider giant things are. Uh, oh my goodness! And we are also hey, being raided you just by, missed it. <laughs> by Cobalt Frig. I'm just making a note for myself in our chat. Yeah. Okay. This way I remember what it is I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, should I roll my necrotic damage? Yeah. Yeah, and your strength is down to three, too. Yeah. And I don't know if you want to roll for wish burnout or not. If you want to do that later. Um, does that happen right after the spell goes off? or? Yeah, yeah. Pretty wish much, yeah. Immediately. Yeah, um, any spell I cast after... Uh, yeah. After enduring the, that stress, each time you cast a spell until you finish a long rest, you take one, one d ten necrotic right. damage per level of spell. It's a level one spell. So, yep. Go ahead and take your damage and drop your strength, as this this will be important, especially for playing tug of war. Uh, Digital Pisces, thank you very much for the follow and okay. welcome to Three all damage. of you from Cobalt Sprig. Let's give a shout out to our our dear Cobalt here. Um. You all, you all came in we're, at the climax of the session here, where we're going to be fighting. We're going to be fighting an eldritch horror for a brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Norlai's so, brother is uh, apparently the master of three, whatever that means, and uh, was pulled out of a uh, dryderish creature. Uh, and right. everyone else is here. To, well, the rest of the party is way down here to help, and we'll have to see what'll. Uh, what will take place in the... Uh, uh, I I am weakling for five days. Okay. So, the same as every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More weakling than usual, though. Yeah. Uh, and then Three's there's like... a 33% chance you are unable to cast Wish Spell. Everybody Do you want to roll that? <laughs> I don't want to roll that. Hey, everybody, cross your fingers. Uh, all right. Do you want a... One to thirty-three on the on the back end for the low roll, or do you want the? Uh, on, I did on that the, wrong. Or, or huh? do you want the? Uh, what is it? Okay. Uh, let's do one one through thirty-three. Uh, I would. Am I allowed to use my any plus ones? Uh, no. <laughs> Darn. All right. Roll one d one hundred and. Ah. Yeah. If you chose okay. high, you would have been whammied, but... Uh, yeah. All right. All right, so you don't have wish burnout. You just uh, you just have weak little baby arms. And uh, 
Okay. You really need a nap. Yeah. I need a nap, and I also need to avoid casting spells. Oh, you're you're just a sorcerer. I mean, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) That's okay. I'll, um... I'll give you dragon's breath, and you can just breathe on everyone. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, uh, well, I'll have to leave the note that I need to do. Uh, oh, Colbred, uh, Colbold, Sprig. Enjoy your noms. Go get the uh, go get some rest yourself. I hope you had a good time in your own D and D game. And, uh, well, you had it. You had it right the first time, Cole Brick. Just combining both words at once. Yeah, uh, my my brain can cross wires like that sometimes. Oh, I didn't actually. It, okay, it's just efficient, Cole Brick. <laughs> all right. Is there any other little notes you all need to make before we go raid? Uh, we're gonna raid McCoy. Uh, I'm I'm posting this as a note. Okay. Um. Also, gonna note that I would use careful spell on. Uh, Loki. Ah, right. All right, then. Everyone, uh, we're going to go raid someone who's drawing us. Speaking of creepy critters, I don't know what what he's drawing. It's like a weird flying cat rabbit thing. Anyway, we'll see what Derek's up to. Uh, We'll go raid his channel. Be well, everyone. Thank you for coming out to join us, Sprig and Company. And everyone else who came in uh, uh, to watch, uh, you know, you saw the the notification or you came in with a raid. Thank you very much. When we come back tomorrow, uh, Dark Wolf and I are going to be at the store and we're giving away boxes of pre-painted minis. It's the monthly mini giveaway tomorrow. So I hope that you'll join us for that as well. Uh, It it all has free shipping to U.S. addresses if you win. Uh, It'll be a great time. And then the rest of the week, we're going to talk about food. I don't know why, but uh, we're going to talk about food in your campaign and what it means, uh, how you can use that for world building, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, I'll see you over in Derek's channel, everyone. Be well. You can find us on Discord, too, exclamation point Discord, if you haven't joined us. And we'll be back uh, We'll be back next Tuesday, which I will broadcast before I take a personal break from, uh, from broadcasting Thanksgiving week. However, Dark Wolf is going to be your substitute teacher in that time, and she's going to bring you some fun content and uh, overstuffed capsules because uh, we, we, we like you all, and I can't give you the 20% discount more. that we offer in the store, so we packed our capsules with 20% more stuff. So Ooh. there you go. That's exciting. Oh, and we auto-rated into Derek. You ain't never been bad. You ain't never been stranded.